So, good morning, Pajero Club. This is a, a video about show us your padge. So, I'll take you around my padge, and uh, I've got social distancing from my uh, camera with my selfie stick. So, let's move on. Let's start at the front. This would have been better done if the Pajero is kitted out, ready to go with all the gear because I've got a lot of stuff in the garage. But anyway, on the front, I've got uh, a smart bar plastic pull bar which is 40 kilos lighter than the standard uh, steel bars I've got some HID lights on it which are fairly bright I've got different uh, lenses to go on them uh, I've got a rumba winch there and uh, obviously an HF radio the bash plates are a continual problem with the bolts exposed bolts getting knocked off so I welded some uh, rear in front of the heads to try and protect them and also to make sure that the bash plates don't get ripped off and caught on things, I've welded a plate between the two bash plates so that overlap and they don't get ripped off. So under the bonnet, I've put the controller for the uh, winch here, out of the way of everything, up high. We've got uh, an auxiliary battery. Generally only lasts about two years because it gets very hot underneath there. Got a Piranha controller here. These are the HID controllers here. And then I've got a, a catch can here and uh, a, a thing to hold the, the uh, air filter tight because it doesn't seal very well. And we've got a TJM snorkel here, which leaked in the joint here. So I had to take the pieces and reseal it properly just want to talk a little bit about filters this photograph you'll see on the left there is a a filter with the rubber seal that's eight millimeters thick that's a an imitation filter on the right there's a Mitsubishi one and the rubber seal is 13 millimeters thick also you'll see in this second photograph the difference between an imitation filter which is at the top and a Bajero filter or Mitsubishi filter at the bottom you can see there's a lot more uh, paper in the original filter so I've given up using uh, imitation filters now inside I got special armrests here increases the height of the armrest to make it nice and comfortable and also I've padded the armrest this side to make that nice and comfortable we've well, got uh, obviously a two-way radio here and uh, I've got uh, a camera up here, Bluetooth, and uh, a range of uh, plugins under the dashboard here if I want them. That probably covers the front of the car. Yeah, I'd just like to add that I do have a gear keeper, which is really useful when we go on trips. I don't use it uh, every day driving, but we just put it up when we go away and use the radio a lot. Here's the middle of the car. Normally we take the back seats out and we put a couple of boxes here with our clothes in we've got the statutory fire extinguisher and the cargo barrier up here i got a front runner roof rack which takes a, a table that goes underneath here i've got the most important thing here which is a bottle opener and a reversing light i can put a shovel down the side i've got a range of attachments that go on the top including jerry can holders spare wheel holders gas bottle holders and that sort of thing uh, but again they're not set up at the moment you can see in these two photographs how i stack the car when i was going for a long trip without the camper trailer or caravan and the long sausage type thing on the left hand side of the car is how we roll up the tent with the bed and the sleeping bag and all the pillows all in one thing we just roll it up and sling it on the roof I wasn't very impressed with the opposite lock brackets that were supplied for the roof rack. They were replaced under warranty, but uh, they still broke. So I cut up some three inch hollow square section and made my own and they've lasted very well. The picture here shows our awning tent unrolled and hung up underneath the awning and also the steel table that slides underneath the roof rack, which is, which is really useful, but a gear. In the back, I got a Waco fridge underneath here this is a homemade set of drawers I normally have or well, shelves normally have a set of shelves and boxes to go across here 
I can get underneath here and underneath here I can put my 85 litre fuel storage I've got a flexible fuel storage there which costs 300 bucks which is a lot cheaper than getting a, a, an extended fuel tank put in I've got a tube here with all my bits and bobs in it and a, a proper jack the Pajero one's a bit average these next three photos show how I stack the car when we're traveling with the plastic boxes from opposite lock. Also you can see the bladder fuel tank that I purchased and I wrapped it up in some carpet that you get from uh, Clark Rubber and then I have a little 12 volt pump to pump it out into the car when I need to top up the car and the bladder fills the car up quite nicely. Yeah, I found this the best place to put the uh, caravan plug. I've got an awesome trailer and then down here I've got two uh, Anderson plugs, one goes to the auxiliary battery, one goes to the main battery and this is where I can jack up the airbags uh, so that can increase the height of the back by about another inch. I've done some modifications here to the back so here this is my table so we've got all our teas and coffees and obviously in the back here I've got two Anderson plugs, one for the fridge and one for the uh, the 12 volt oven we have pies quite often when we're traveling so if you've got any questions about my Pajero please give me a call Paul Harris names in the book all right catch you later